This is ABC 7 News at 10, Chicago's number one news. Now tonight's special segment, Baby Fat. What if there was a way to tell right from the start if someone was predestined to have a weight issue? A new device could help make that possible. Healthbeat reporter Sylvia Perez joining us to tell us about it. Sylvia. Kathy and Cheryl, newer research finds babies who gain weight too quickly in the first months of life are at increased risk of becoming heavy toddlers. But some doctors say weight gain alone may not tell the whole story. How much fat a baby has right at birth may be another sign of future problems. Getting an accurate measurement has been pr tricky to do until now. Most babies actually really come down inside. This pod-like device may look like it's about to blast off into outer space with a pint-sized passenger. She's inside here for two minutes. In reality, it's not going anywhere. But doctors say this system called the Peapod is delivering some information that may seem out of this world. It's a new, non-invasive, and more precise way to measure newborn body fat using air displacement. Less than 24 hours old, Eliana Grace Aranda is having her body volume measured in the name of science. To know that she's a part of something and in the future we can gain knowledge from, I think it's great. Dr. Jamie Josephson, a pediatric endocrinologist at Children's Memorial Hospital, has a hunch. She suspects increased amounts of body fat at birth may play a significant role in future weight problems. So she's started a pilot study. Perhaps body fat is a more sensitive and specific marker of risk for childhood obesity than birth weight alone. Along with the infant's body fat, Dr. Josephson will also look at glucose and insulin levels in the blood and hormones, including leptin, an appetite regulator. Mom's pregnancy weight will also be considered. Perhaps there are interventions. Perhaps if moms who are overweight prior to pregnancy, if they gain much less weight during pregnancy, that could have an effect on the baby's body fat. Everyone needs some fat to survive, especially babies. According to the National Institutes of Health, obesity means having too much body fat. It is different from being overweight, but both terms mean a person weighs more than what's considered healthy. Just breathe normally. Dr. Ari Levy specializes in personal health. He says adults who learn their body fat makeup can use the number to customize exercise and diet plans. He worries infants with high body fat may just be unfairly pigeonholed as a weight risk. You don't want to form a child's image, have a negative self-image of themselves because of body fat. I'd much rather understand the child, right? What their setting is, what's going on, what their nutrition is like, are they physically active? It's very warm in here, it's 91 degrees, and so actually most babies are really calm. Dr. Josephson agrees baby fat is just a small part of the bigger picture, and researchers are still trying to even figure out what levels of fat in infants are normal or not. This newer technology could help. Hank Facer's parents are hoping to stick with this research for years to come. It'll be interesting to find out what comes of the study. Now again, the babies are only in the pea pod for just a couple of minutes, and for the most part, all they do is just lay there. Most, we're told, are quite comfortable during the process. <laughs> Pregnant women delivering at Prentice Women's Hospital at Northwestern and their babies are being recruited for this project. If you'd like more information, go to our website, abc7chicago.com. It looks odd, though, yeah. that yeah. baby going. Right. Yeah, it's actually a smaller <laughs> version of what they do in adults. But, right. Yeah, it's and it's harmless. Fine. But the baby's still yeah. cute. Aren't they so, so cute? cute? Thanks, <laughs> Thank Sylvia. You. Well, for the first time in 15 years, an American is...